Everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. We've got a full fur fur person crew. We got a fur person. <laughs> we got a fur person crew. We're playing some fiasco. Kicking it over to Jimmy. And good night. Oh, bye, Jimmy. Uh, we've got Will returning. Hi, it's me. And down in the corner, we've got Marcus. Hello, Marcus. Hello. Oh. How are you? Oh boy, this is going to be a real treat, folks. Uh, I just want to head this off by saying. The stream is probably real chunky on your end, but I'm playing fiasco tonight whether the stream is good or not. So we're gonna go, we're gonna push forward through with it. Who cares about technical difficulties? Folks, tonight we're gonna be playing Dragon Slayers. Uh, this is our third fiasco game, is that right? Third on stream. Yeah. Third on stream. Yeah, this is our first four person game on stream. Um, this should be a lot of fun. Uh, let me introduce the playset and then well, actually let me just do a 30 second elevator pitch of fiasco fiasco is this little book here But it's also a bunch of play sets. Well, that's out of focus get in focus, please. It's a blurry get in focus, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay um, Basically, it's a collaborative storytelling game where you have uh, two to four or even up to five people sit down and tell a uh, They kind of create a movie and tell that movie scene by scene together and to get them started, they roll a bunch of dice, and they use those dice to establish relationships with one another, and to basically um, set up the rough setting and the rough motivations and conflicts of the story, and then they go through it one by one, improving the scenes. Each person's playing a character, but there's also, there's more than five characters. You're going to have janitors, you're going to have a, a bus driver, you're going to have a school teacher that are going to hop in randomly as the story requires, and anybody can pick up those roles, but we will have our four main characters that will play. Um, but that's pretty much it. So let's talk about this week's playset is Dragon Slayers. It's by Logan Bonner. Um, this is actually one of the oldest and most famous playsets of uh, Fiasco. So let me let me read off this uh, this intro. The intro does a good job of setting up the the setting, the scene, the theme, the tone of the playset. The score. If you want to keep those hands, get them off my magic cloak. The bumpkins in this pissant mountain town could never have taken down that dragon. Their biggest hero hasn't seen battle since Drozek rode down from the Smoking Mountains three wars to end all wars ago. That old uh, curse word, they call their town wizard fried his brain with one too many elixirs of awareness and can't even light a campfire with all his spells combined. So yeah, we rode into town a bunch of outsiders ready to solve that problem, solve a mother effing dragon, and no, we don't care what they think, and yes, we're effing heroes, those yokels should worship at our feet, they didn't blast those mummies to dust or make a death trap built with technology lost centuries ago, their B. And, pff, I'm, I'm doing a good job at catching these curse words before I say them. <laughs> and they sure as hell didn't slay that dragon. That's our dragon, and its gold is our gold. So unless you're bringing us ale and women, get the F out of here before we transform <laughs> you into a turkey and serve you for dinner. <laughs> Movie night. So these are inspirations. Army of Darkness, Conan the Barbarian, The Gamers, Darkness Rising. I've never heard of that last movie. You guys heard of that one? That movie is fantastic. I, re really, though? 
It's very, very bad and very oh, good okay, yeah. because it's bad. I'm on board with that. Um, I'll let you borrow my copy. So here's some tips. This playset focuses on the fallout after a group of Gunko adventures wipes out a mythical, mis, ma, mythical monster. It contains details that point toward the town the character saved and the dungeon where they fought. You can start after the victory, maybe dropping in some flashbacks to the adventure, or make the first act take place in the dungeon beforehand. Um, we can decide that later. How about we set up the characters and then we'll decide if we're going to do if we're going to do flashbacks to the to the adventure or we do half adventure half aftermath. Um okay, so so uh, you guys can't see it. Let me flip over to the game. Boom. So we're in roll 20. Just makes it nice and easy. Basically, I'm going to take all of these dice and I'm going to roll them. There we go. So, let's see what we got. We've got 1 2 3 4 five six i know my numbers that's good uh so basically um what happens is we take the dice and every time you pick a top level category or a detail underneath it for one of the relationships between us you have to spend that die so for example we only have two fives so that means we can pick two items numbered five and then after that we can't pick any fives anymore the only caveat is the very last die is wild you can pick anything you want with that die so um marcus since you're new i'm not going to throw you into the fire just yet let's um we're going to start with me we're going to go clockwise um you guys are in roll 20 so you should see this order as well it's ian jimmy will marcus will go clockwise with that order so what we're going to do now is first we have to pick a relationship for each of us so there's gonna be four relationships um and then you have to pick the top the top level category has to be picked before the detail can be picked so basically i can pick the top level category of the relationship between ian and jimmy jimmy and will will and marcus or marcus and ian so let me read them out relationships one family and romance adventure magic culture fellowship and war i i love I love magic. So I'm going to say the relationship category between Marcus and I is magic. So magic is three. So I'm going to put that over here under me. So basically that means that our relationship category has been picked, but now anybody after us can fill in that detail if they want to. So that is that. It now goes to uh, Jimmy. And I just got to say, Will and Marcus, you missed a hell of a talent show in eighth grade where Ian just dazzled our minds oh, with oh. this magical Wait, skills. wait a minute. Did you block that out? Did you repress that memory, no, Ian? No, I think I got lucky because the sixth and seventh show was separate from the eighth grade show, I believe. Because one of the shows, I messed up a trick. And halfway through, I just went... Uh, on to the next trick. <laughs> Classic. And I think it, I think I got lucky, and it, it was presenting to the grade that I was not currently in, because that would have been embarrassing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, let me show off my hair real quick. Um, so my hair got long. I'm going to Florida next week. It's hot out. I got to get it cut. I'm not. It's quarantine's on. I'm not. I'm not gonna let some like nasty hair salon person breathe in my face. So I let Maggie cut my hair. Um, and she gave me this. It's pretty terrible. Uh, she, she added this line all the way around it for some reason. Um, and then it's just uh, the normal length on top. It's pretty bad, but so I'm living with it. she doesn't like you. Oh, boy. Anyways. She, she doesn't care. <laughs> Does Maggie need glasses? <laughs> yeah. She has like four pairs. Oh. It's like the same way you stopped halfway through the magic trick. She stopped halfway through the haircut. Yeah. She just did the bottom half. <laughs> I I'll tell you what, Zach. At the end of the stream, I'll go full screen for you so that you can see the line. Oh, boy. Uh, but you're going to have to send me the receipt for your subscription to my OnlyFans for me to do that. So, <laughs> Anyways, okay, sorry. We got a little sidetracked there. It's Jimmy's turn. Jimmy, you can choose either the detail under Marcus and I's relationship or you can choose the top level relationship category between Ian and Jimmy, Jimmy and Will, or Will and Marcus. I'll choose adventure. Okay. And <laughs> who do I get to do that for? 
<laughs> Whoever you uh, want. Yeah, Ian, Jimmy, Jimmy, Will, or Will Marcus? Uh, Will Marcus. Okay. Joe Marcus' is brother. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, that's an inside joke. Adventure is a two. It's funny, the two people. <laughs> Where's Marcus? Um, okay, Will, your turn. <laughs> <Indiana Jones. laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. We joked about that before the stream. <laughs> Uh, it's an inside joke. <laughs> all right, well, what are you thinking? It's your insights. Um, okay, so I'm picking relationships still, right? Yeah, either the, there's two details and there's two top level categories available. Hmm. I'm gonna do war. Wait, do I? Hey, I have a six. I'm gonna do war for uh, Ian Jimmy. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, <clears throat> I just like to ask, uh, what is it good for? Hmm. A lot. Um, okay, so so Marcus, you can either pick the top level category between Jimmy and Will, or you can pick the detail for the other three that have already been categorized. Uh, I'm gonna pick the detail for Will and myself uh, under adventure. I'm gonna do three employer slash henchman. Oh, okay, got it. So this it doesn't have to be decided now, but basically what it means is that one of you is the employer and one of you is the henchman. And we can we can figure that out right before we start. Um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Okay, so I'm going to pick the. We still have. Do we still have all the numbers? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we do. Okay, I'm gonna pick. So Jimmy and I have a war relationship. Will's adventure. I kind of want to do. I'm going to do family and romance. Family and romance. It probably no. should be an or. Or a slash there. <laughs> this is... Uh, Incest, baby. For Jimmy and Will, that is family and romance. And I'll Jimmy's change my hot sister. <laughs> uh, okay, so your turn, Jimmy. Oh, my, my turn again. I completely forgot what we were doing. Um, all right. <laughs> so it's only so, it's three details. Magic, war, and family and romance details left. Family and romance, okay. Uh, <laughs> how about, um, I don't know, spouses in an arranged marriage? <laughs> wait, wait, which one is it? Spouses in an arranged marriage, okay. For family romance. Got it. Okay, so Jimmy and Will, you oh, guys man. are spouses in an arranged. Oh, thanks for the sub, sycophant. Thank. Oh, how was the thank you, stranger? Oh, it didn't go off. It did the old one. It didn't go off. I thought I. I thought I changed it. Uh, Will, you did set it. I went and double check. Will found this really creepy sound effect in the game, and it's this weird <laughs> goblin creature, and they go. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> so we made that our sub sound. So now whenever somebody subscribes, it just goes, thank you, stranger. Um, <laughs> and is there, is their name actually sycophant or were you just no, insulting I, them? Yeah, it was a two for one. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you that um, in Arabic, Palestinian is Philistine? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> what? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like, it's an insult, but it's also the name for... Anyways. Uh, I thought that was relevant. It was a two for one. Anyways. I hate you. A two for one? Whoa! <laughs> is Karen watching? Uh, your turn, Will. She is. She better be. <laughs> She was very excited when I told her Marcus was going to be here. Nice. Hi, Karen. <laughs> uh, uh, it's your turn, Will. Oh, it's my turn. <clears throat> so I have to pick a hot, steamy relationship for either Ian and Jimmy or Ian and Marcus. Yep. Which is, sorry, magic. And do I have all the numbers? What what don't I have? You have all the numbers. I don't have a. Th oh, I do. It's have a really nice spread. I have all the numbers. Yeah. Um. War and Magic, oh, my two favorite pastimes. 
Hmm. I want to do okay. Okay, four. Oof. Oof. This is rough. Um. Oof. What's a simulacrum? Oh, it's like Sim- simulacrum. It, it's it's a it's a false representation, like a copy. Oh, nailed it. Between Ian and Marcus, uh, werewolf in human form, werewolf in wolf form. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an easy yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, werewolves <laughs> in different forms. Okay, so, cool. All right, so we'll have to figure out who's who's human. So does that mean you're both werewolves or one of? I think it means. So yeah, I think I guess that means they're both. I think we're both, but for some reason, like one, maybe one can change and the other one is stuck. We could figure it out. They could both be stuck, but we'll figure it out. Um. Okay. So that is a uh, six. Okay. So your turn, Marcus. So I think. Okay. You have to. They're pick, all still there, right? Yeah. All the numbers are here, but you have to pick the detail under war. Okay. Between Jimmy and for I. For you and Jimmy. Um, I'm going to go with Big Six. You killed my father. Oh. Ooh, that's that's good. a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. So. Just got the email about six. About what? I got the email about Sycophant. It was a YouTube follow, which means he's probably not watching. It just means he watched my Dwarf Fortress video. Which is popping off. Okay, so now we have we have really? eight left, eight dice left, which means we have to pick at least one need, one object, and one location, but we're actually going to need a duplicate of one of those. So the thing about these is that you tend to assign a need to a relationship or to a person. It's kind of up to you. The object and location, I tend to just leave in the middle, as in, at some point in the story, we need to touch upon this object, or we need to visit or talk about this location. So I get to go first. We still have all the numbers. Wow. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at objects. Oh, except in this, it's called Arms and Arcana. So I have to choose the category. So I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose sentimental for the object. Sentimental moments. Which is a six. So that is the last six. Okay, so Jimmy, you can choose either the detail under that sentimental object or the top level for a need or a location or the top level for an additional object. Mm. And we only pick one location now, right? Well, we can we can pick two. We just need one of at least one of each category, if that makes sense. We we have so many dice this round that we we're going to do a need, an object, a location, and then a fourth, which can be any of the three. Um I'll say a need to uh, crush your enemies. Okay, and, and who do you want that attached to? Or which really? You and me, yeah. bucko. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm feeling good. What do you want? Ah. No, I think it's someone's bucket. Do you want it? Oh, okay, alright, sorry, I'm having some trouble over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you should get off. To crush your enemies is Sorry. a two. Karen's getting off in the other... I mean, getting up. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me? She just came and told me she was so playing she's watching Warzone. This? And I said she should get off. Oh, Warzone. Boy. And she's going to watch this. All right. She said hi to Mark. All right, well, it's All your right. turn. That was honestly not a joke. <laughs> All right, well, it's your turn. So what's left is the detail under... Our need, the sentimental object, uh, or the top level <clears throat> location, or the top level of a need object or location. Not, not usually a top, but I'll pick the top level location. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with. 
Oh, I thought I knew what I was going to be, but then I didn't. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with In the Wild. Do we have a three? Yeah, we have a three have in a the three. wild okay. for the location. In the wild. Okay. Um, Marcus, your turn. Just got one, four, and five, right? Yeah. Well, no, we got two ones, one, four, two fives. Cool. Um. So you can pick a detail of the three or one top level, right? Uh, yes, we need details on all of them or a top level yeah. of our location need or object. Um, I'm going to do the uh, sentimental object. I'm going to do four old ally polymorphed into a toad. Oh, I love it. Sentimental object. Ribbit. Four. <laughs> I mean, Old. what are, do toads ribbit? Do they croak? I don't actually know. Toads croak. croak. Frogs ribbit, toads croak? I thought they'd go, hello, my baby. <laughs> hello, my honey. <laughs> hello, my ragtime girl. Yeah, we we talked about this with Jimmy, right? <laughs> yeah, he's still doing it's one it. More, one more infraction. <laughs> okay, let me see locations. That's two oh, references wow. to the frog thing. <laughs> what? Well, did I already do that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's called improv, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, I'm not good at improv. So. Um, okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do cave of visions for the. In the wild location. Ooh. The cave of visions. Your dinner is on the counter, by the way. Okay. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy's turn. I always forget. <laughs> so we oh. need a detail All under right. to crush your enemies, a top level location, yeah. or, or a top level location need or object. All right. Um, I'll I'll just clarify it to crush your enemies because they ruined your life. Okay. Oof. That's, we're getting very very detailed in our relationship. <laughs> it's gonna allow me to take out a lot of pent up aggression on you. <laughs> your magic show oh, ruined me. I was me. about to say you're just jealous of my magic show. <laughs> You just skipped the trick entirely. All right, Will, your turn. <laughs> you didn't finish. Sarah never noticed me after that. Hi, Maggie. That's Marcus. That's Hi, Jimmy Maggie. as well. Oh, she's so blurry. Oh, Hello. I was like, Jimmy, it's, what happened it's to It's to your protect hair? her identity. <laughs> they're, they're admiring your haircut. <laughs> did they see the back? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Beautiful. It was Best of heart, my boy. <laughs> Um, okay, Will, so you need to pick the top level of <laughs> a location, object, or need, and it's a one or a five. Location, object, or need. I'm going to look at the needs. Uh, I'm going to say... Hmm... I'm gonna say uh, I got a five or one. I'm gonna say uh, a need to rule. A need to rule. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Who's that? Which relationship is that on? Uh, that's Marcus Will. Okay. Oh, so I feel like that makes sense with employer. You said that was a one. Um, or well, it doesn't really matter. It, it was a five. But that's okay. So this last one, Marcus, is because the last die's wild, so you can pick any of the six under uh, to yeah. rule. Oh. Oh wow. Um I'm gonna do by marrying a royal heir. What 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 is it again? Sorry, I, I it skipped out for me. Uh number one, by marrying a royal heir. By marrying a royal heir. <laughs> Will's already married to Jimmy. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so um, that's arranged. 
That's true. <laughs> I am arranged. That could be the arrangement. <laughs> so, so that's mm. that's a good jumping off point. Let's let's talk about our characters for a bit. So, there's some things to be decided, like who who is which werewolf form, um, who who. If we're doing a same sex marriage, it doesn't really matter. But if we're doing a uh, a heterosexual marriage, who's who's the spouse? Who's the bride? Um, and then Marcus and Will, who's the employer, who's the henchman? I think we should figure that out. So let's let's go from the top. Marcus and I, uh, do you have a preference, Marcus? Do you want to be the werewolf stuck in wolf form, or do you want to be uh, in human form, either stuck in human form or can switch readily? Um, I don't really have a preference. I maybe slight lean towards uh, wolf form, but up to you. Okay. All right. So I'll give you <laughs> I'll give you wolf form. So you'll be in wolf okay. form. And I'll be in human form. You don't have to be stuck if you don't want to, but I, I think that makes more sense. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, he's he's to begin with is stuck in wolf form. Or not to say he couldn't. Yeah. Or during the story, become a human again. I yeah. think I'm an anti werewolf. Where like if it's not a full moon, I'm a werewolf. But once it becomes a full moon, I go back to oh, the person. Oh, that's, that's I'm good. like a backward and so on. Guys, this is why I invited Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Zach says you're a furry, so I'm gonna go with Ma Marcus's <laughs> idea though. Okay, um, so it's just a costume. It's just a costume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I take it off when the moon comes out. Okay, so spouses in an arranged marriage, Jimmy and Will, what are you guys feeling? What kind of what kind of relationship do you have, and who who's who? If it needs to be decided, you know, if it's two husbands and two wives, then it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, I'm a man, clearly. <laughs> Have you seen? Yeah. Um, Jimmy, you can be a woman if you'd like to be. I don't want to tell you how to live. Um, I know that magic show changed you. Um, <laughs> or you can be a man. I was thinking it'd be funny if it was an arranged marriage uh -huh. between two rulers. And they're like, I want, like they kept saying that they wanted their sons to get married. But they because really... they didn't have do... because neither of them had a daughter. Oh, that too. But I was thinking like <gasps> the one guy always thought the other guy meant his daughter, and the other guy thought the other guy meant his daughter. <laughs> oh. so they ended up just marrying the two sons by accident. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's real good. And then, I think that's pretty. And, good. But then the problem is you have two sons who are both who both want to rule by marrying a royal heir, but they're not sure who's going to rule. You know what I mean? Like if it's gonna combine the you don't kingdoms, know which royal is gonna do better? Yeah, which one's gonna be king? So that's the contention between yeah. you guys in a way. But Marcus, you want to marry? You want to rule as well? That's a need on you as well. So we don't have to define that now, but but somehow you've got to get in there, in that contention. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wants to try to, I don't know, dispose of me, get me removed from the situation, so that what? then Will frees up or steal so. your well, love. I was thinking, yeah, he's he's my boss and he's hired me. Because he wants to try to get rid of me to then marry my royal heir, which is or woo me or marry my husband. Well, I think it would be I think it would be the opposite. Like heir. if you're if you're a royal heir, then you're the employer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So you've hi yeah. So how about that? You've hired Marcus for some reason, but Marcus has Personal. an ulterior motive, which is to rule himself as opposed to serving under you. Um, I'm also a wolf. Yeah. And then, and then, well, Jimmy, Jimmy, and I—I I forgot we have a relationship as well, which is you killed my father, and I think uh -huh. I'm going to kind of ignore. I'm going to I'm going to ignore the war part and just focus on killed my father. I think I killed your father when I was in werewolf form, and you suspect uh -huh. me, but you can't and prove it. Right, because I haven't seen you in werewolf form. Yes, that's right. So I don't I don't know that you're. Aware, so I can't confirm it. But yes. I have my. So okay, but it's really worked. Out. But here's the complication, though. This is this is kind of the crazy thing. Um, all four of us are in an adventuring party, and we defeated that dungeon. I think we start in the aftermath, and we do flashbacks. Does that sound good to you guys? We do flashbacks sure. as needed. Yeah. So it's just kind of weird. So sure. so basically, I am a I'm a magician who is secretly a werewolf. Marcus is stuck in werewolf form. But that makes him an asset in battle. He's been hired by Will. Will and Jimmy are spouses. 
something we'll have to figure out, not right now, is what your motivation is to be in the party. Because I think Ian and Marcus, I think it's clear why we're in an adventuring party. But for two royal heirs, why are you in an adventuring party? We'll figure that out. It's because we, we're so sick of being pampered that we wanted to get out with the people. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Jimmy's dad is dead because I killed him. <laughs> That's not part of the, the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> real life. Stuff. But I'm assuming I'm assuming Will's dad is still alive because they're not rulers yet. He's not a ruler yet. Yes, I'm. I'm still a, a hair. Okay. Hair. All right. So does that does that everybody feel like they have at least a good jumping off point to start the story? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can leap. So now what we do is we basically just do a bunch of scenes. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, uh, towards the end of each scene, the person who is not, at, uh, all the other people who are not running the scene say white die or black die. And that basically determines if the person who is running the scene, if their character has a good ending or a bad ending. If things go their way or things don't Question. go their way. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Was that a yes? Oh, just because there's four of us now and not the three. So both of us, both of the people not physically in the scene or people not included in the scene say black die, white die. I, I think it's it's anybody, just not the person. Or is it agreed upon? It's it's anybody. It's anybody. It just can't be the person who started the scene. But I'm, I, I'm sorry. My question is, if Marcus says white die, I don't then say black die. Like it's whoever says it. Yeah. It's just a what? It's, yeah, okay. Yeah. We don't all each do a die. No, no, no. No, it's just it's just <clears throat> okay, when you cool, run the cool, scene, cool. you get you get a die by the end of the scene. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Um and then don't get too worried about the die though because they don't they don't matter that much. Um they just kind of help guide the story good or bad. Um All right. So, here we go. Um it starts with me. I have to establish a scene. Um, and we have to give ourselves names. Oh, we got to give ourselves names. That's right. Okay, so everybody give yourself a name. Oh, I got the perfect name. Let me look at my little list here. Oh, you best. You, you best have a list? person ever. Marcus, you have a list yes. of names? when we worked together, yes. Marcus started a list name. of great fake names. <laughs> and we, we've we added to it a lot. Also, and I think mine that I'm making might be added. Also, just remember, we don't all have to be human. This is D&D, &D, basically. So... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be a gnome. I love gnomes. And dwarves. I love short things. That's why I'm with Karen. She's very short. Okay, um, you guys ready? <laughs> if you are, what the? All right, my name is Lilliputia Hibiscus, and I am a small female <laughs> halfling. Uh, Jimmy, what's your name, <laughs> and who are you? I'm Steve, and I'm a human. <laughs> You're just the most boring D&D character possible. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Just a Minecraft guy. All right, Will. <laughs> uh, my name is Flynn Frankfurter. <laughs> and, uh, I'm a rock man. Oh. <laughs> I'm made of rocks okay. and stones. And Marcus? Uh, my name is Christian Bookstore. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am a werewolf. Um, and I actually, I transform back into a centaur oh, when I'm not a werewolf. Gotcha. Um, Christian bookstore, the typical spelling, or is there any fancy stuff in there? <laughs> typical, just run-of-the-mill. What you'd expect. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry. You ready? It's very funny. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'll, I'll kick it off. Um... It's uh, a sleepy little D and D town, a little village, a couple huts, a couple buildings. It's in the. Um, it, it's kind of comedic. It's in the middle of this clearing in a f inside of a big forest, but it's nestled up against the shadow of this giant, like cartoonish mountain. And we 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 float on into the village, 
and we go in towards the tavern. We know it's the tavern because it's got typical tavern doors and it's got an ale sign on the front of it. Um, and we follow this group of four people as they burst through the door. And uh, the halfling strolls up to the counter and says, Barkeep, give me an ale. So somebody play Barkeep. <laughs> Hey, what kind of what kind of ale you want? Oh, I, I I didn't know there were kinds. Do you have anything citrusy, maybe flowery, a little bit of fruit in it? Um, one bucket of piss coming up. <laughs> yes. And he like throws, slides down a slopping bucket of hopefully ale. Ah, yes. Here. Thank you, thank you. And I pull out a little collapsible straw and I I start to drink it. And I... <laughs> Do you have a, a food menu? I'm I'm a little peckish. Uh. Er uh, we got beans, we got sausages, and we've got extra large chickens. Yes, I'll have I'll have one of each. I'll have one of each. Uh, uh, Steve, 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 you want anything? Yeah, little lady. Do you want anything, Steve? Uh, sure, I'll take five whole chickens, pilgrim. Ah. Five whole chickens for a pilgrim. Yeah, and back keep for your for your heroic adventures that have saved your behind once again. More ale. Uh, what about you, Flynn? Excuse me. Flynn, anything for you? Uh, I'll take a, a big thing of more rocks. Uh, <laughs> do you have gravel, perhaps? He needs to slim down a little bit. <laughs> um, I'll, I think we've got some gravel. We'll, we'll see. I'm kind of changing the voice since it was similar to Flynn. <laughs> oh, we got some gravel. Yes, that'll do. Ah, uh, uh, yes, box. Christian Bookstore. Anything for you? <laughs> oh, we we don't have a Christian. Oh, uh, never mind. No, that's my name. Uh -huh. I I noticed your very fully stocked library in the back that I'm going to check out. But in the meantime, I was wondering if you had any beans I could procure. Uh, yes. Perhaps I've got, pinto. I've got pinto. I've got black, and I've got gabonzo. The pinto will do, please. Pinto for the. What about chickpeas? <clears throat> you have any white beans? Steve, we've talked we about this. It, it, it's, it's hummus. Navy? <laughs> it's already beans? hummus. We don't fava have pre, beans? We don't have pre-hummus. Do you have any fava beans? No, no fava are the beans, beans. Are the beans whole? I never knew my father. Are the beans whole or are they mashed? Or, or what are these um, beans got, look like? They're just, they're just dried and you kind of chew on them or suck on oh, them. Oh, they're crunchy. I've never had a crunchy bean. Yeah, I'm going to walk away now and go get your I'll order. I'll take one bowl of sucking beans, please. And what kind? Make I've... that a double. I got... <laughs> well, you already got Pinto coming. Well, he wants oh, Pinto oh, and oh, a oh. double of beans uh, that are sucking preferred. What kind of beans do you want for the double? The sucking beans. Uh, the father just said it. Beans. Do you have I don't know. I never beans. knew my father. Mother the beans. My father. Do you have oh, beans God. in your ears? Pinto. Black and gabonzo. Ah, let's just have a double of each um, and put yes. put ten nails on top of it. As you can tell, we've earned it. <laughs> we've been adventuring. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to shuffle off now and leave you, the scene. Steve, Boy. Steve, did you hear him? He said he doesn't know what we're talking about. That can't be true. We just saved the village. Where's my gravel? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> He's hungry. Sit down, sit down, Flynn. <coughs> sorry, where's where's my gravel? I'm just <coughs> sorry. That's why we're getting. Right, I know we're getting you some gravel. Oh. Just go sit down, boys. Yeah. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go okay. talk to. I, I just want to be clear. People know what we did. Ahem, excuse me. Excuse me. Ting 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 ting. Excuse me. We are the adventuring party, and we have come to say, we have slain. The dragon that lives in the cave of visions. What, what dragon? <laughs> the, you know the big. Uh, I, it was big and scaly, and I couldn't. Christian, do you know what color it was? It was hard to see. It was a bit dim in there. I think it might have been a, a chartreuse. Oh, I, it's interesting. I thought it was mauve. I guess maybe. I never knew a dragon. It was right over there in the mountain, in the cave of visions. You guys. No, wait, why did? You didn't have nightmares for years and years, a lot of them involving a dragon, all perpetuated by I this. I hate you! 
Okay, that's going a bit far, Grandma. Let's, um, can we get a bowl of beans for Grandma? She must be hungry. Grandma <laughs> beans! Guys, I don't- oh, she flew away. We almost died in there. Defeating this dragon and nobody... Nobody cares. And quite frankly, I'm offended. I mean, I'm a rock man, so I probably wouldn't have died, but yeah, you're like right, though. You know, you say that, but- I liked the dragon. But you went down twice, and we had to get you back up. I thought there. he was cool. Well, he's dead now, okay? He's dead. Oh. Guys. White die. I'm gonna be honest with you. How do I end this? Okay, wait. How do I end this with a white die? I kind of forced myself towards a black uh, die. You know what? Black okay, die. Thank I'll you. say black die. Sorry. We're not getting the respect we deserve. And we've got to do something about this. I do this for two things. Fame and gold. And when we got a buttload of the second off that stupid dragon, we ain't got none of the first. And we got to fix that, boys. We got to fix that. There's your beans. Forget the voice. Thank you. There's the beans. <laughs> Scene. Okay. So that's uh, scene down. I got a black die. So now it's Steve's turn to set up a scene. I thought you got a white die. No, I switched to black. You switched to black. Oh, Just because I, I... You were working. Yeah, I forced myself into a I black die. I was thinking. Ooh, I'm sweating. All right, Stevie boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, um... How about... Um... The scene. <laughs> Smash cut. <laughs> um, to, to the door to the uh, mayor's office. <laughs> What's like a Dungeon and Dragon version a of mayor? Town mayor. Let's just go with mayor. Yeah. yeah, the mayor has a sash. It says mayor on it. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's just the doors and doors go flying open and you see that they were propelled open by a kick from a boot worn by a man. Man named Steve, that's me. And I say, listen here, Mr. Mayor, me and my crew here took it upon ourselves to do the incredibly courageous and heroic thing by slaughtering your dragon and taking all of his gold all for ourselves. And we've noticed that people are not giving us the proper respect and treatment and utter love and, uh, you know, uh, b basically worshiping us as gods like we deserve. Uh, so we we need you to fix that uh, immediately. Did, um, Great job, sweetie. I'm sorry. Did you say a dragon? Yeah. What dragon? Uh, up and but it, I, it, you know. I think it might have been the chartreuse one. I'm not yeah. positive though. Oh, I had a lot of gold. Somebody was telling me there were a bunch of drunks in the tavern ranting about a a dragon. Was that was that you lot? Did you have a bit too many, too much ale? It was it was them. Too many babies. No, she's back. I told you not to bring her. No, oh, she's my secretary. Oh, Gertrude, Gertrude, please. I've got this from here. Thank you. Hold, no hold all my messenger pigeons, okay? This is important. <laughs> I, I can understand your consternation if you did slay this dragon, but quite frankly, I don't think anybody knew it was even there. But it, it, it was huge. It could have, it could have, it could have, you know, it, it probably did kill people. Well, it probably wasn't very Well, nice. to be clear to you, I, job, I am the mayor of the town and nobody has died of non-natural causes in the last 40 years. So it was not killing people. Okay, that's interesting. In this society, <laughs> that nobody has died of non-natural causes? <laughs> well, that's incredible. Honestly, I would like to... I would like to research and publish a paper. We have on a that. saying. It's called "If you eat the beans, it makes you less mean." Just a real happy folk that here. That doesn't. That doesn't. So make you're sense. putting a sedative in your beans. That's keeping the now uh, that, townspeople compliant. That is something. Let me write that down. That's something to work on. It's just a saying. We're a very <laughs> happy town over here. Did you get anything good off that dragon? Yeah, tons and tons of gold that we took as our natural right as having slain the, the terrible beast. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. But you can get on your knees and start worshipping at any time you see things, yeah. as long as it's in the next five seconds. Well, worshiping on uh, your knees. May yeah. maybe we could throw you a, a parade or a, a, like a one-day celebration party type of thing. 
We do have uh, little Timmy. Little Timmy is the favorite of the entire town. His birthday's coming up. We're going to have a celebration. What if we just tack you guys on to the end of that and we make it Timmy's birthday and also these guys say they killed a dragon party? Hello, my small birthday coming oh, it's up. it's Timmy! I love parades. Timmy, Gertrude. You shut up. Tiny. Gertrude, Timmy's Adults here. I'm tiny Timmy. Is he young or is it just a condition? We don't know. I'm 42 this Tuesday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but wow. it's part of his charm. It's less cute now. <laughs> well, it's it's it big. Makes... Take offense to that, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, All right, please. I've heard enough from Andy Milanakis here. <laughs> Counter offer. <laughs> Counter offer. Tiny Tim, uh, has feel free to attend and worship us. Uh, and instead of being a one-day parade, it is endless. Well, you see, our town is rather small, yeah. so it only takes about five minutes to walk from one end to the other. We can't really do an endless parade. How about a five-minute parade? Okay, so now we've gone down from one day to five minutes. <laughs> Sweet, sweetie, that's pretty, that's pretty close. You know how we always preach compromise in our relationship? We we're compromising with the mayor. That. I forgot you guys we're are married. compromising. <laughs> sweetie. You know what? I'm sick and tired of you trying to cuck me in public <laughs> like this. <laughs> all right. Just because I'm rock I'm hard all the time, because I'm a rock man, <laughs> doesn't mean you have to be your fleshy hard right now. Compromise. Okay, gentlemen. I'll give you this. Ten minute parade from one side of town to the other and back, and uh, little Timmy with you. Does that sound like a deal? <sighs> You drive a hard bargain. All right, white dye. Why did the mayor just say white dye? <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> I don't see any dyes. Uh, excuse me. It's, uh, I should look into that as well. <laughs> I hate little um, Good scene. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's now Flynn Frankfurter's turn. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do a flashback to when Steve and I first met. Okay. And both our fathers are there. And as we know, both fathers are expecting the other person to be a woman. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just going to start there and just be, hey, d Dad, I'm real excited to meet this girl. I'm sure she's very beautiful, son. I, I hope mean, so, because... The, the, frankly, the, the female body parts she's going to have, <laughs> they're going to blow you away. Yeah, because we're rock people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we gonna... are solid. Yeah, <laughs> destroyers. Um, I just, I just can't wait. Uh, I can't wait for the trumpets to announce that we're about to reveal each other. When that yeah. happens, I'm just gonna be so happy. I mean, honestly, son, I haven't even seen her. I just saw a silhouette, and I mean, she looked curvy. So she I... looked, she looked large and voluptuous. Yeah, she was um, in charge. But as soon as the, these, these horns go off, <laughs> oh my gosh, the horns! Have... The horns, they're going uh, off. And, uh, oh, and the curtain has come up, and. Dad, is that a is that a fleshy boy? Is that male parts? King Reginald, your daughter is rather magnificent. Quite frankly, I can't tell with our difference in species. Uh, um, I'm a rock man, not a rock woman. But, man. but I'm a human man, and and he is and my I was son. Expecting. And you're my dad. <laughs> and that's... This is exactly why we were trying to repeal the law about getting married before they saw each other. Is this... This is the reason. This is... This is... This is... You... That's your son? We're supposed to be marrying your daughter. This... I'm... He's supposed to be marrying your daughter. And I, frankly, am pissed that we passed that law two weeks ago where once you agree to be married, you have to go through oh, with it. Oh, goodness me. I could really go uh, for a war right now, but I know we can't afford it. Oh. Um, well, hi there, fleshy boy. And I guess your name is Steve and not Steve. 
Stevia. Woman. Steve Woman. Stevia. <laughs> Stevia. Because she was so sweet. <laughs> so, because you're so sweet. I must have misheard. Yeah. Miss, yeah, my name's not Lynn Estra. And I thought Flynn Frankfurter was a woman's name. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we're the... I didn't expect you to have a Frankfurter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. I mean, I, I don't. It's, it's uh, more of a, an obelisk, son. No you'll get you'll get used to it in time. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're getting married now, so I love you. I love you too. I mean, honestly, I'm probably the the winning of this situation. Um, awesome. I so agree. let's let's move up towards the priest, who is very near us now and should start this out. Hello, I'm the blind priest. I don't approve of gay marriages, but I know this is between a man and a woman, so I'll conduct it anyways. Do you, sure. the bride, say yes? Yes! It's me, Tiny Timmy. I brought for rings. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, thank you, Tiny Timmy. Tiny right. Timmy's here, folks. I'll hobble away. All right, My Tiny Timmy. My birthday's coming up. I'm turning 33. I'll see you later. Will the woman lay on... 12 years ago. <laughs> yes. Will the man... Will the, will the groom... Do you say yes? Uh, yeah. Okay, yes. good. Now, the woman, if I'm remembering correctly, the woman lays flat on the ground on her stomach... And she puts one hand on the small of her back. And she puts the other hand straight up in the air. And she says, I pledge thee all my loyalty and fealty and physicality. I pledge all my loyalty and fealty and physicality. Yes, and now the man takes his foot and puts it on top of her head. And he takes his left hand and places it on his groin. And he says in tune with joyful thrust, this is my woman. This is my woman. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yes, and now we'll go in another room, you two and myself, and I'll witness the uh, copulation and defloration. Look out, Dad! A werewolf! Oh, I'm allergic to them. Oh, no. I should go away. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, did we get married and his dad died on the same day? Two no, hurt no. Let's do it. Let's do the dad dying later. I, I think. Okay. There wasn't a werewolf. But see, I'm sorry, my wife is in hysterics, priest. Oh. Oh, but it's it's okay. You're married now. L live long and happy. And listen, a happy wife is miserable okay keep her miserable and it'll make you happy that's the key to happiness yeah uh black dye no white I'm, white dye i would say white dye. okay yeah. white dye uh okay so now it is time <laughs> now it's time for christian yeah, right. bookstore scene <laughs> yes um we go now to the parade. It has just begun. Our four heroes are marching, taking their cheers when out of the corner of their their each of their eyes they see a toad on the ground whistling and waving a little flag and the little flag says, It's me. Oh, would you we look at now. that? It's that they've trained a little toad to wave a little flag. Isn't that lovely? It's adorable. Is that, is that gr Gronton? Gronton? It couldn't be. We haven't seen him in years. How could he think it's Gronton? But well, I no heard way. in the papers that Gronton was cursed to be a toad instead of a giant toad. Gronton? Gronton? Look at me, Gronton. Is that you, Gronton? <laughs> it's Gronton, Steve. Look, it's Gronton. It's Gronton. That's incredible. So wait, so Gronton used to be a giant toad, and then he polymorphed into a regular-sized toad? No, no. Is that what happened? No, no, he was a person, and he got cursed into a toad. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I haven't seen Gronton. I haven't seen you since that night when... Oh, never mind, never mind. I don't want to talk about it right now. 
Shh, go on time, go on time. Nobody cares about it. Just sh hush. Oh, he's, he's making a joke, folks. He's, he's saying something funny. Only I can understand him. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're saying, Grunt. Grunt, you were able to write that little sign in human English. Do you, do you have the ability to speak it as well? <laughs> oh, that's great, Grant. Well, this will make things easier. I'm sure yes. you have plenty of things. I just love to croak. Granton, can yeah. <laughs> we all? Granton, perchance, do you happen? <laughs> do you happen to remember anything about being turned into a toad, or did it just happen mysteriously? I remember it was strong magic. That turned me into a toad. Good, but no other a details. strong magic like yours, kind of. Strong magic from one Lapusia. Excuse me. How? That's your name. How, how dare you accuse me, Gronton? You must have lost. You, you, I'm sure you could not have seen who did the strong magic. Is that right? I saw because I was in front of a mirror. Then you cast it on yourself? <laughs> no, the person was behind me, but I was still in front of the mirror. Bo boys, boys, you Here, can't. I set it up elaborately with these dolls. Gronton, you the know the jokes here. he likes to play. Gronton, you can't be serious. I'm very serious. As serious as a man turned into toad, turned into man, turned into toad could be. <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps, maybe I could, without admitting guilt, of course, maybe turn you back out of a toad? If you can return me to my beautiful voluptuous self, I would be most grateful. Yes, yeah, let me try it. And I and I pick up Gronton and I put him in my little my little pocket right here. And so he peeks out and I go, "Is, is that okay, Gronton?" Oh, 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 that's so lovely. Yes, yes. Oh boy, boy. Oh, when do I get turned into a man? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Uh, and just then... Just, <laughs> oh, you're what? not doing it now. We're just... You're just deciding that you're going I'll to I'll have to research. I'll, I'll Priorities. Have to... There's, a, there's a parade. This happening. is a parade. Look. For us. <laughs> and there's... We've only got like seven minutes left of it. What? Uh, what's the parade for? We killed a dragon. We killed the dragon. You were, you were waving to us. What? Right now I was waving for Tiny Tim's birthday. How? <laughs> That's right, he's 42. <gasps> but look, these he's four 40. little boys are coming towards us. They must be for us, clearly. And the four little boys come up and one of them goes, Can we pet your dog? And they look towards Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully bites. Hi, doggy. Not as much as much. Can we rub your belly? <laughs> I, I do enjoy that. <laughs> you <may. laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, Bark Wolf. Oh, good. Bark Wolf. Good doggy. Oh, good doggy. You're so soft. Thank you. I mean, Bark. Do you want to pet the rock, man? <laughs> we have to go home yeah. now. I think we've seen. I think we've seen enough heavy petting. Uh, white dye. <laughs> I'm gonna give a white dye. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. How do, do we want to call scene there? Or do we want to keep going? Uh, no, that's still white die, right? Oh, it's Marcus's scene, so you get to decide. Yeah, yeah, I think that was good. Okay. Um, so we now go to uh, <clears throat> it's going to be kind of a double scene in a way. It starts out with uh, it's after the parade. Lilliputia has gotten back to the inn slash tavern. We've all gone off to our separate rooms. Laputia has taken Granton with her. And she gets inside and she closes the door and she turns around and she goes, Granton, we have some discussion. Do we not? What would be the discussion? Perhaps what you saw many years ago and why I had to turn you into a toad? I saw you exiting a room in which was the heir of the place in which the people were getting married. Hmm. Yes. Perhaps we should talk about that. And it morphs into a flashback. Um, so it is um, Lilliputia entering a room, and she says, Your Majesty, King Reginald, right? Wait, 
I think it was Reginald. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What Steve's father? Oh no, no, yeah. no, King. I'm pretty sure. I think Reginald was uh, was Marcus. So somebody, somebody, take over my king, because I was playing that king. Uh, uh, you want to do that, Marcus? So you're gonna play yep. Steve's father? Okay, so your Majesty, you called for my magical aid. I did. I did. I. It's I requested it because my child told me that he was unable to uh, rise himself in the uh, <laughs> the marriage suite, and I thought perhaps you could perform a charm of some sort to uh, to to alleviate this. Yes, yes, I could, but it's a bit of a bit of a dog drool problem. If you get my drift, I need to know what his other looks like so that I can have him become excited whenever he sees such other. What, is she, what, does, what does his wife look like? Well, uh, wife is maybe not the right word anymore. Um, sort of big and rocky. Sort of like, uh, you know, when people, when people on, the, on the beach, they make a pile of stones. That's sort of what the... Uh, Yes, remember. yes. A carny. So perhaps if I, and she looks over, and she looks left and right, and she realizes that they're in a stone room with, like, stone walls, and she goes, perhaps if I get him to be excited at the sight of stone, do you think that would work? That seems logical. Yes. That would make sense. Yes, it does. Now let me just, hmm, let me ponder on this for a bit. And she walks to the window, and she goes, now we'll need some things. I'll need to get them ready. And as she walks towards the window, she looks up and in horror, she goes, no, it can't be already. And it's a full moon outside. And she goes, hey, Laputia, what is, what has come over you? And she just grabs you and rips your throat out. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, King. It's me. The name I forgot. Ronton. Ron Ronton. Oh, and she like. I'm just opening the door now to see a horrific scene. <laughs> and as she does, a it's a wolf eating the king. As she does, a cloud passes in front of the moon. And she goes back in to her normal form, and she goes, oh, And you've returned to Lilliputha Hibiscus. Ron, Don, my, what, what have I done? What, what have you seen? I, you have killed the king, and I have seen you kill the king. <laughs> well. Is to answer both your queries. Ron, Don, I'm afraid <laughs> that's the wrong answer. And she goes, Todius Incepticus. And you get turned oh, no, into a I'm toad. coming up. Okay, then we flash we flash forward back to the present. She goes, Ronton, I may be able to help you. I know I will be able to reverse this curse, but only and only if you promise to never speak of what you saw in that room. What room? Exactly. Scene. White die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Steve's turn. Oh, whew. Uh, yikes. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess. <laughs> um, so what are your, I could just, I was going to say, what are your, what are your character motivations right now? So you need. You killed my father. You at least suspect that, or at some point you're going to realize that I killed your father. And then you have the conflict with Flynn about who is going to take take over the kingdom once King Reginald dies. Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I think we can we can have that scene where we're in our, you know, I guess it's like night now, and we're in our own, like, you know, separate post parade room. Yeah. Post parade, post coitus, uh, <laughs> in our uh, in our bed, and I say, um, you know, I really didn't care how you spoke about me and our relationship and my need to compromise in front of the mayor. 
Sure. I guess that was today. Or yesterday. Well, I don't really like it when you keep tugging on the river stones. They're my river stones. I'll tug on them. <laughs> Never, I don't know what we're talking about. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you need to compromise sometimes there, Steve, because... Why? Because your father's dead, Steve. And he never compromised, and it got him killed. By a werewolf who was supposedly seen by some sort of witness that never showed up at the trial. That's right, that's right. Only that toad showed up who kept croaking. That reminds me of something else I saw today, but I can't remember (laughs) what. (laughs) Anyway, back to the matter at hand. My father's dead. That means that once I come of age, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say that you have to be 25 to be oh, king, you're and I'm 14. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, great. My father will never die because he's but, a mountain. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My character's 24. Anyway, I'm, I'm only Oops. one year away. I'm only one year away from being crowned king. So, rightfully, I'm the king. I'm the one with the power. I should be telling you what to do. Yeah, but currently, since we're married, I'm the king of both lands. I mean, except for my father and my land. But I rule your country right now. I mean, technically. I mean, if we really want to get down to it. I mean, you're not really a ruler. I'm more of a ruler because I'm a rock person. But, I mean, (laughs) we want to brass... Brass taxes, that's a thing people say. That's a word, phrase. Well, you Everyone's may- shocked, they're not saying anything. <laughs> you might be made of rocks, but I'm the one who really rocks around here. Rocks at ruling, and I also rule at ruling. So I rest my case, I'm going to be king. What? Every ant farm I bought you, you've killed all of them within five minutes. They were insubordinate. They didn't deserve <laughs> my, uh, my benevolence. But that's... See, that's your issue, Steve, Mm. is you think you're better than what you are, and you aren't better than what you've been. (gasps) Uh, I'm going to assume that was an insult. It was, Steve. Why do you think I keep going down to the blacksmith every night? Why? That's a separate issue, but I shouldn't even have brought it up. But He's just got a load of molten stone and iron that... Just satisfies me in ways that flesh of a man <gasps> is black, not possible. Black dye. I'm a literal rock person, Steve. I could punch your face out right now, and no one, I mean, everyone would know, but you wouldn't live. You know, even though this is an arranged marriage, and we didn't meet until exactly when we were getting married and we're two different species, and we're under the assumption that we were going to be of different genders and aren't attracted to each other's gender, you're making it really hard to love you right now. Well, good, Steve, because I'm making it really hard to be a rock man right now. Um, You know what? I'm just going to go to sleep. I'm not. You know what? I'm going to go sleep at the blacks. I'm not not in this scene, but Jimmy... Please, you just have to say the phrase, all you care about is getting your rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> all you care about is getting your rocks off. I, all I care speaking. about, and all you care about is skipping stones and skipping town. <gasps> so, I hope when you turn 25 that someone kills you and doesn't let you take over. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> but I'm leaving now. Kronk. See? That was the door. See? Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was real good. Um, Flynn Frankfurter, it's now your turn. Great. Um, I was going to flash back to the dungeon where the dragon is. Okay. In the Cave of Visions. And in the Cave of Visions. Yep. Where the dragon is. And it's Flynn opening the door. And everyone, uh, you guys are your characters. And basically, Flynn's going first, so you guys are all asking me what what's inside. I'm going to let you guys do Flynn, that. Flynn, what is it? What is it? What do you what's see? What's inside? Please. What's inside? Um. What's in the box? Guys. What's in the box? What's Dragon's in the box? Dead. 
And so the camera goes in, <gasps> and it's just a giant skeleton of a dragon, and there's just a bunch of gold everywhere. <laughs> you killed him already. We, we did it? No, oh, you idiots. It's been dead. No, no, no. You know what? Now that I remember it, I think it might have been me. No, Steve. That wanted poster was 200 years old. I told you we shouldn't have taken it. This is a team effort. Listen, it was a museum we took it from. Let me pose a question to the group. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Yes. But nobody's because there to the hear tree... it. Yeah, but the trees are sentient in this world. You know that. But let me put it this way. My third cousin's a tree. Okay, yes. We all know about your oh, aunt, Christian. Gross. You can't stop talking about him. Whenever we're walking through a forest, that looks like my cousin. It looks like my cousin. All the time. He's cool. <laughs> I'm sure well, he, he is. Know, I didn't Bible. They all look the same. Sure he is. Oh, 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 you cannot say that about tree people. Everybody's thinking it. Yeah, but nobody's saying it, sweetie. Oh. A little bit too thin for my taste, to be honest with you. Uh, listen. Wispy. If the dragon is dead, but nobody knows that, then we can tell people the dragon is dead, which means we're the ones that have made him if dead, the... so therefore we killed I'll the dragon. I'll tell everyone it was chartreuse. If the... if the dragon was dead and it's not bothering anybody, then there's no reason for us to come and kill it anyways. Listen Nobody's to me. Nobody's going to even know what we're talking Flynn, about. I don't care about the gold. And there's a giant pile of gold next to the dragon. I care about I the fame. I care about one thing. I want Lily to be in the mouths and on the lips of every person in this kingdom. I want them to remember Lilliputia Hibiscus. I want to get my rocks in a twist here, but who cares about Lily and their tongue? They'll care about it when this I tell is... them I killed the dragon. I mean, we killed. We killed. We. We, I mean, honestly, we killed the dragon. I mean, it's... honestly, I killed the dragon because who knows, maybe opening the door turned it into a skeleton. Well, uh, Flynn, but... let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Christian, do you agree? We killed the dragon, of course. We killed the It's like, it's not like Schrodinger's dragon, I was, I mean to say, Flynn. Right. You didn't evoke this. We well, killed the dragon, and I get to keep all the gold. I think we can all agree well, on that. Okay, now Steve, I know I said I don't care about gold, but I do care about 25% of that gold pile in there. I mean, I think, I mean, I think 15% should go. Excuse me? To trees in need. Should we remember to Should... take some out for taxes? No, no. Just what are... We're not like reporting. Well, either. actually, that's a good point, Christian. <laughs> We're, but, but see, the problem is if we report we killed the dragon, will they believe if we tell them it was a penniless dragon? Quite frankly, that doesn't sound as good either if we yeah, just killed true. a penniless dragon. Wait, but well, I'm still against this telling them that we killed a dragon because we did, clearly didn't kill a dragon. Look, it's very simple. Nobody knew it was dead. Us telling them that it's dead means that we killed it. But nobody knew it existed. No, of course they did. There's posters all over the place. There's a town just outside. We passed through it. They clearly know about the dragon. This is a cave of visions. So they must have been having nightmares about it for years. Well, I'm sure also, that it killed lots vision. of people in the town. Oh, I'm sure that there are dozens and dozens of people who die every day in that town from non-natural <laughs> causes. Where do you think this I'm gold sure came from? I'm sure there are too. I've never heard of a place that hasn't had a non-natural killing at least within a couple of weeks. Flynn. So any place bigger than a year would just be impossible. Flynn, this gets There's to a deeper of... question, quite frankly. Yeah. Why are you here? Let's get to the rock bottom of this question. Why are you here? I'm here because I'm here with my hubby. Who you are a prince. Is here because he met you in a bar. You won't stop talking about your kingdom and how you're going to rule both kingdoms one day very soon. Why are you here yeah, if you already have fame and gold? Why are you here? What? Because Listen, I got nothing Flynn. better to do. Flynn, my little sweetie Rocky boy. M marriage is all about compromise. You I need don't need this. To compromise, as in, do exactly what I say and don't question it. I've been alive for 8,000 years. Flynn, he has a Mr. point. Uh, and Mr. Frank four of them have been stuck with you, whom I love. Mr. Frank, and... I, know, I, I know I've only been working for you for yes, nary upon a month, I but know, I hired this you. is exactly what I'm talking about yes. with you and, and 
and Stevie Stevo. Yes, but I hired you, and yet I still have moss on my shoes. Yes, sir. I'll eat the moss. No stone <laughs> left unturned, Christian. No stone left unturned. That is what I told you on your first day. You're right. I should be now, turning let's all of your figure stones. figure this out. I want to know if today's going to be a good day or a bad day. Listen, and it's going to be figure a out good day. It's going to be a good day. We're all going to grab as much gold as or we can. We know that. We're going to listen to me. I feel like some sort We're of going to grab ethereal force hasn't We're decided going yet. To grab all of the, all of the gold we can carry, and we're going to grab some dragon teeth. I've heard those are, are very nice. Yeah. We're going to march down into that town. We're going to burst into the yeah. tavern. We're going to order as much mm -hmm. ale and food. Hopefully, it's good food as mm -hmm. we can. And then we're going to proclaim, oh. "We have slain the dragon." That's what we're yes, going to do. I know that's a great idea, but I'm not sure if that's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen yet. Because all right, white die, quite... white die. <laughs> oh come on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, white die then, and we'll just see in there. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so Christian, <laughs> Christian bookstore. I, I keep forgetting that you have this motivation where you want to rule. Yeah, I was about to get into that. Okay, okay, yeah. So it's your scene. Okay, so I I had my ear pressed up against the marital bedroom during Steve and Flynn's fight, <gasps> and I'm and sort hopefully of hopefully not before that. <laughs> <laughs> I came up in the last minute or so of what was going on. The rock the bottom. Um, and I am like now standing in the hallway, just like pretending that I walked out right as as Flynn walked out, and we bump into each other as Flynn is on uh, his way to the blacksmith. Sorry, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Karen, Karen came and talked to me exactly when you were talking. Uh, I am in the hallway. You, you're leaving the fight you just had, and I'm like pretending that I'm like acting natural, and we just bumped into each other. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, hi, I'm a rock man, <gasps> and I bumped into you, and you're acting uh, just like natural. Yes, like a I... spring or a perhaps a bar. I'm leaning against this wall, and one of my legs, the foot, is pressed up against the wall, and the other one is on the ground flat. And I have my arms folded in front of me, my wolf arms. And I, I, I have to be honest with you, Flynn. I overheard your marital disagreement with Steve, and I, I don't think you two are meant for each other. Oh gosh, I, I really hope you think... didn't hear our marital agreement beforehand. <sighs> Besides. Uh, Christian, I yes, I I need to be honest with you. I've hired Please, you for a very sir. specific reason. Is that the moss? I know. No, I just wish I was covered in hair like you. Oh. Instead, I'm covered in stone, rocks. right? Rock and yeah. dust and moss. I mean, there is a way in ancient times that people used to use to have non-werewolves be transformed into werewolves if that's really something you desire. Yeah, but you can't bite me because I'm rock. But I need you to know something. When the moon is full, yes, I turn into a centaur. <gasps> As do I, sir. As <gasps> do I. <laughs> Incredible. I... What a coincidence. I can't believe I've found my way into your life, sir. I can't believe I've hired you and researched what you were before I hired you. And oh, that makes, it, was, it was on my resume. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just I didn't skills. murder, I mean, fire 30 other assistants before you. That's a strange uh, speaking mistake to make, sir. But It is strange, but I'm a rock and I accidentally sit on things sometimes. Makes sense. I'm the you know, size... What? What were you going to say? I'm sorry, I was just going to say, why don't you... No, hush! Have you, have you considered... Why don't I... What were you going to say? Going to say have you Quickly considered... say it! I'm we're just going in to this say it. This is it. It's what coming. What is it? Who? Have you considered taking your marriage certificate to Steve, which is written on paper, taking scissors to the paper, <gasps> and leaving only rock... For you and I. Can't since scissors beats rock, so if I touch scissors, I die. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> There's no other way to rip up the paper. 
No, but I need you to do it. I need you to be my strong man and bring that paper in front of Steve and shred it with your wolf claws. All right, sir. I will go down to your office and I will gather the the marriage certificate. I will take it to Steve's slash your bedroom. I know. I wish those children never invented that game in this world where scissors happen to beat rock and rock beats paper. <laughs> It's quite an opposite of what it could really be doesn't make, I mean, I guess rock is like a paperweight. Right, but, but in how this do you cut world, the rock with the in, in this one, that's the way it is. So in, in actuality, I'm always right. But it's true. just incredible. It's a side story, but I just needed to bring it up because of <clears throat> my brain. I love chat. the law, sir. I love it so much. But besides, I love you because I've recently discovered that you are a centaur. Yes, and here's the thing. I I really don't mind if you go do whatever it is you do with the blacksmith. In fact, I appreciate it. I might come up to the window and take a gander myself from time to time. I just... Have you... It's more of a molten shower. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, no. Oh, I think no. I, I think I read about it on Ancient Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> is that something? Is that a library book? Medieval Dictionary, I think. There was an entry about it. I'd like to enter your Christian bookstore. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, white die. <laughs> okay, I would say we lean in for a kiss and then scene. Mm. Can I do it on camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, um... <laughs> Good news, folks. We are now halfway through, so this is when the tilt happens. So the tilt is basically a small little... Um, it's it's similar to what we did before. There's a top-level category and a detail, but it is something that offers a little bit of a, a, a twist on the story to kick things off, spice things up. So the way this works is that each of us is going to roll our dice. So I'll do that for you. So basically, it's going to come down to two people. And those two people, each of them is going to choose a category, and then they choose the subcategory for the other person's tilt. So I know that's a, it's, it's a little confusing, but we'll work through it. So rolling everybody's die. Rolling everybody's dice. Um, can, I, can, can we take a fiasco pee break? Yeah, go ahead, pee. And I'll okay. just not include you in this. Okay, so the, the white high is Christian, and the black high is... Uh, Lilliputia. So it's going to be you and I. So so what we're going to do is uh, let me get this text set up real quick because it's a little whoops. Okay, so these get rolled. So we have a one, two, three, four, five. So basically we don't have any sixes. So what's going to happen is uh, unfortunately I don't have this in the PDF. I'll just read it out loud to you. But what okay. we're going to do is, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to get these text boxes set up. So there's two tilts, and they're the same as before, so there's a, there's a category and there's a detail. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read from the five categories, and you pick a category, and I pick a category. And then I pick a detail under your category, and you pick a detail under my category. So the categories, okay. there's only five because we don't have a six. And we have to use these die, but, you know, it's it's not that big a deal because there's eight of them. Okay, the, the options are mayhem, tragedy, innocence, guilt, and paranoia. So that's mayhem, tragedy, innocence, guilt, and paranoia. Which one of those do you like? I'm going to take paranoia. Okay, so paranoia, that is the five. So I'll throw that over there. Uh... Um, and then the, I'm going to pick from one, two, three, or four, I'm going to pick mayhem. Okay. So now it's your turn to pick the detail under mayhem and I'll read what was mayhem. Mayhem was a one. So we have a one, two, three, four. So let me read the, the options for you. An out-of-control rampage, a frantic chase, a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose, or a magnificent self-destruction. So I'll read those again. An out-of-control rampage, a frantic chase, 
a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose, or magnificent self-destruction. I'm going to go with the dangerous animal. Love that. I like the metaphorical. Cause... <laughs> What's a metaphor again? Can we... <clears throat> That's a liker. It's like, like a simile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I get to... Ch oh, no, wait. Sorry. I, I did that wrong. <clears throat> this goes under mayhem. So now I'm going to pick from the... Paranoia categories, dangerous animal was a three. So I still have a one, two, three, four option. Okay. So the dangerous, the paranoia options are a stranger arrives to settle a score. What seems like dumb luck isn't. Things are afoot. Two people cross paths and everything changes. And a sudden reversal of status of fortune of sympathy. I'm going to choose a sudden reversal of status of fortune of sympathy. So... Somebody's going to suddenly find themselves changed. I kind of like that. It doesn't have to be this way, but I kind of want somebody to, like, lose their royalty status. That would be pretty good. <gasps> the butt in on the story. Okay, so now it goes back to me. Um, so we're basically going to do the same thing again. Each of us are going to do two scenes. Just keep in mind the tilt. How are we doing so far? We've got the object. We've got the location. We've got the needs. We're doing real good. You know what I forgot last time, Will and Jimmy, that we were supposed to do? The what? QMEC club. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. We, we never oh, did yeah. that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, I realized that after. But we're doing real good for this one. We're, we're hitting all the, the quote-unquote requirements in a way. So, okay, here we go. The notes. Um, so, Lilliputia, it's the next day. Lilliputia. Nox, uh, she has, um, what's his name? Sorry. The toad again? <laughs> what's his name? Rongon? Or? Gronton. Gronton. Okay, rhymes like, like wonton. Gronton. Gronton. She doesn't have Gronton with her. <laughs> what? Gronton soup. I can say it. <laughs> No, the, um, gra <laughs> I really don't. Some of my best wives are. <laughs> my favorite food is one. I don't even like, there really was no, no like racial meaning in that. It was just the closest word I could think of to remember granton, no. wonton. <laughs> it's just so obvious that they rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't know. That, that was a that was a eureka moment for him. Yeah, it was. Like, like one time. Like <laughs> um, bean bean, like Sean Bean. No. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> all right. So Lil Pusha is out. She doesn't have Granton with her. It's early the next morning. She strolls across the uh, the village, and she walks towards the alchemist. And you can tell it's the alchemist because it has like a bubbling chemist vial on the front of it. And she knocks on the door and opens it and steps inside. And she says, hello, is there anybody here? I'm looking for the town yes. alchemist. Oh, that definitely, That's me. that sounds like an alchemist voice. It's, it's awfully dark in here. Let me come a little bit closer. Oh, what is that on your, what's that on your cheek? I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, it's you've never seen a tumor a before. Oh, and it's it my sentient tumor. And it's it also talks. my husband. I love it here, and I love it on him. Well, I suppose if you're going I'm to be a man too, I guess. I suppose if you're going to be stuck together, <laughs> you might as well be stuck oh, yeah. together. Anyways, That's I'm a good point, stranger. You're just a lovely couple. Anyways, I'm looking for a very deadly poison. Oh, we got lots of those, and no questions asked. Perfect. It needs to be a specific poison, though. You see, I have a friend who has a condition where he is um, a frog. Alive? He's, a, yeah, he's alive. Oh. He's a frog, <laughs> and I need to uh -huh. turn him back into a human temporarily, but then also kill him. So it needs to be a poison to turn somebody back into a human and then immediately kill them. 
okay, sure, yeah, we've got that. Um, let me see. Uh, ah, yes, here's our giant store of that exact thing. And, oh, oh, sorry, I know I said no questions asked, but I just need to confirm first, you know, for liability purposes, legal purposes, this, yes. this fella here on my cheek constantly, and, you know, reminds me about that. I remind him. He reminds me. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so what is the question? I mean, what what he's trying to say is no question asked, but uh, would you like a receipt? But, and also, you did get the consent of the person that you're you're doing this to, right? Oh, that this, too. this is for a, a, a stage play. Yes, we're putting on a, a play of when we slayed the dragon, and we've got a local what frog. What dragon? The one that's in the mountain that we had the parade about yesterday. The one that just died. Yeah, the, no, the one that was slain by me and some other people helped. By death. But most natural well, death. The name's Lilliputia, not death or natural death. But here's the thing: <laughs> we're putting on a play. Uh, yeah. Nobody wants to be the dragon because the dragon has to die. It's a play, of course. They have to die. I'll be the dragon. No, see, we have you're to kill you. Dragon? We don't want to fake what? that bit. We have to kill you if oh, you're the dragon. Right. But we found a right. frog. You can kill him. We're ah. gonna we're gonna put the frog inside of a dragon costume, and then at the correct moment, I shall secretly administer poison to it, such that the frog becomes a human inside of a dragon costume, right? right. And then it, yes. it before it suffers too much, we want it to then die, as we kill it in the play. So you see, therefore, we we've killed we've we've done three three birds with one stone. We have a dragon. We get to kill it on stage, and nobody suffers. Do you buy that? I mean, do When's you believe that? When's the show? It's... I can't wait to see it. Oh, you actually want to see the show? Oh, it's... I don't want to go. It's to... And I can tell everybody, that's my poison that I sold not... to her. No. Oh, it's... We're not going. It's tonight no. in, the... Going. in the town square. It's tonight in the town square. We're... we're going to have a play and we're going to kill somebody on stage. Yes, that's what's going to happen in the play. Well, here you Ugh. go. It, 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 complimentary. No need to pay me. I'm going to go tell everybody that my poison's going to be in a show tonight. Oh, you no, no. Me. See, please don't tell people about the poison. Why? You see, it's a bit like it's it's a bit like making whoopee. You, you may know it's not good, but you don't want to tell people because it ruins the illusion. Right. Like making whoopee? Yes. You know how when you go around <laughs> and you tell people that you've had a lot of whoopee and you're quite... Yeah. Wh well, me and my husband here have a ton of whoopee. Yes, I yes. Love, love. I love it. It's always great. You don't want to spoil <laughs> the illusion by telling the truth. So you exaggerate and you lie a bit. You say it was great. You say you've made whoopee with all the damsels of the mountain. Uh, but we I both know that's not great. true. Yes, I'm so sure why it is. are we talking about this again? Black die. Black die. <laughs> Listen, okay, just well, do I me a favor. Careful not do me to drop the potion. It's very slippery. I love this potion, but don't tell yeah. anybody about uh -huh. it. Don't tell anybody of how we're using it. Do I have your word? Do you promise? Yes. Good. Then here's some gold for your trouble, and I guess we'll. I guess I'm putting on a play tonight. I'll see you there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Scene. It's a good thing I didn't make the promise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, Steve, your turn. All right. Um, how about I run into uh, Lilliputia? Uh huh. Uh, while she is returning from the alchemist, and I say, Why, howdy there, companion. Where are you coming from? Listen, Steve, um, none of your business. And, uh, number two, are you any good act as an, like a, like an actor, like saying lines that you don't mean on a, like putting on a play? Absolutely. I'm a great actor. Get a load of this. To be. Or not to be. That is the question. The end. I'm sorry. <laughs> was that acting or was that actually a question? And if so, what was the question I wasn't following? My question was, 
which character should I be or not be? Oh, see, <laughs> it's you easy. Want me to give you an example of my acting. <laughs> I was just talking with some town folks, and they were so excited about our parade and that they wanted yeah, to see I'm... a reenactment of it. And so we're putting on a play in the center of town tonight. And it's we play ourselves. I'll find somebody to be the dragon and uh, we'll slay the dragon on stage. Don't worry, nobody's gonna actually die. Yeah, um, we'll slay, queen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and and uh, and you'll need to play your, do you think, Steve, Steve, do you think you could yeah. just be yourself on stage and just pretend it's, to kill the dragon again? I was born to play. Steve, has anybody ever asked you what's wrong with you? <laughs> Black they Black. have, but then they are executed pretty shortly afterwards. Um, but oh, speaking of acting, you've been acting awfully strange lately. Have like, I? how about that entire incident with uh, our frog friend whose name rhymes with Wonton last night? You mean Ronton? Yes, he is a little bit foolish. Why has he been talking to you? Have you been talking to Ronton? I haven't seen him around this morning, but I did want to ask him some questions, such as, what were you trying so hard to get him to not say to everyone? Steve, how many years have we known each other? Five years. <laughs> and in all that time, have you ever shown an ounce of spine or courage? Have I ever shown it? Yes. What a question. I think Did... I've shown great courage in, in our S adventures together. Steve... And all that you've shown is being highly suspicious, a highly suspicious character indeed. Steve, you are the most spineless simpleton I have ever met. <laughs> and unless you found a pair of balls in the Cave of Visions, something's bothering you. Get at it. What is it? You know, my father died at yes. the hands of a werewolf yes. on my marital night. Yes. He said he was going to find a cure for my inability to get my rocks off over some rocks. Yes. And, uh, throat ripped out. Gronton goes disappear turned into a frog. So let me get this straight. Are and you for some reason... <clears throat> No, no, go ahead. Are you accusing me? Should I be? If you're gonna accuse me, perhaps you should put your hand on those newly found balls and declare it. Or maybe you should use that simpleton tiny brain of yours and think, whoever it was that killed my father, whoever it was that did that to Ronton, may be the same person and may be mightily powerful and if you dare to cross them they just might do the same to you are we talking about you i will end you steve and no one will even care or notice oh no well looking forward to the play tonight yes that's what i thought <laughs> <laughs> scene scene Oh, Flynn Frankfurter. <clears throat> Great. Um, trying to think if I should do a flashback again, or I guess I don't necessarily want to go straight to the play. Oh, we do have the tilts. I'll just say them again because I forgot about them. There is a sudden reversal, which is somebody's reversal of fortune or of fame or of money or of royalty or standing just a, a reversal in some way there's yeah. also mayhem which is a dangerous animal either literally or metaphorically gets loose okay i'm going to cut to uh actually it, it'll be um flynn frank frankfurter mm -hmm. with christian bookstore uh and we're headed we're in the castle and we're headed down into the dungeons and so, uh, wait, wait, Christian, uh, follow me. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little lost. Is this is this a flashback? It's current current time. Current time. Oh, okay. Wait, what castle? <laughs> <laughs> or not the castle, but the like the the town. We're in a town, right? I assume there was some sort of 
fortification structure. Yeah, I mean, if you want there to be. Yeah, there can be, like, a fort. Yeah, anyways. Um, I'm trying to think. Does fort make sense? Maybe I'll just say the town hall. We were at a town hall, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. there's a town hall, and there's, like, an inn, a tavern. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm stupid. Our last scene, Flynn and I, we were in the we were in the inn, right? Yeah, you were in the tavern mm -hmm. at okay, night. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, you know, I think we should take twenty or thirty minutes to make a detailed map of this town, just so we're <laughs> all on the same page. I'm just trying. Anyways, so Flynn and I are trying to find a place to bonk, bonk, yeah. bonk. <laughs> I didn't like that. Bonk, bonk. We're gonna bonk. bonk. Yo, we're bonk. trying to find a place to bonk. Over. Yo, we're gonna bonk. Anyway, so Flynn, f freaking Christian's with me. Uh, Christian, I think it's down this way. <laughs> let's let's follow these stairs down to this deep dark dungeon. Which yes. it's weird that there's this many stairs underneath an inn. It uh, is weird. And then I can find my way into your deep dark dungeon, sir. It, it, we can yeah. bonk. Mm -hmm. Yep, into my cave. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, right. It's it's weird down here. There's like intersperses of light suddenly. And there's some sort of large growl. And it's, there's this caged area. What? What? There, let's just open this door and let's go bonk inside this caged area. Yeah. Where the heavy some... breathing turns me on. Yeah, it's very. And no, there's some sort of large flapping noise. Yeah, in this yeah, I can see two eyes glowing in the dark. Yeah, this is strange. It kind of looks like the skeleton we found. A little bit. Right, maybe even a little mauve. Maybe even a little mauve. Who goes the mauve there? mauve. Oh, oh, I'm a rock man. Who dares I'm disturb? A Christian bookstore. Um, it's I'm Flynn, and this is I'm Christian, Christian bookstore, and we slayed the dragon. What dragon? The the bony one in the I mean the shark juice truce one. Truce dragon in the in the in the in the cave of visions. The cave of visions. That they was what it was called. My wife. You slew my wife. My wife. <laughs> oh, Borat is here. Hey. You've captured oh. Borat. You robe like kill him. sleeve of wizard. Oh. <laughs> That's not very nice. I go Sorry. now. I go to America. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> Run free, Borat. Oh, okay, goodbye, Chartreuse sure, Dragon. Sorry about oh it, your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly we're alone again. And the whole Just idea will head. Slew on. my wife. No, we didn't actually kill them. They were already dead when we got there. How did but don't tell die? anyone that. It <laughs> seemed just like natural it causes. Natural causes. Yeah. Or grief. Just a pile of bones. And their fortune. Maybe, maybe some sort of long term suicide? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just starvation, and then eventually, over time, it just becomes a pile of bones. Was it a hunger strike? <laughs> I mean, I, uh, think, I think she might have lit herself on fire. I don't know. I didn't. Are they a fire? They're a breathing dragon. Aren't they impervious to fire? Oh no! I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do the joke that's in chat. Will, should I do the joke that's in chat? This is a perfect tea for it. Yeah, go for it. Was it a hunger strike for Tree Lives Matter? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably not. I don't think so. But... Honestly, if it was, I would support it. One of my cousins is a is a tree. Uh, yeah, he's a bible now. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what? Why are you down here, dragon man? Or actual dragon? You're not even a man. I was caged ages ago by the mayor of this town. Oh, Mayor Flim Flim? Yes, of the Flim Flim family. I hate them. What a coincidence. The mayor only gave us ten minutes for our parade, and it was the same day as Tiny Timmy's 42nd birthday. We barely got any shine. Ten minutes. Yeah. But he gets a 20 minute parade every year for his reinauguration. Wait, he gets a 20 minute parade every. Okay, how do we get you out of here? Because you seem okay since you haven't 
Well, you can't kill me because I'm a rock, but since you haven't killed uh, Christian Bookstore here. Hello. It's a wolf. Are you familiar with the concept of cages? Of cages? Well, Inches? Cage? I, you kind of cut out there, Dragon. Are which you is weird. familiar I'm right next. with the concept? <laughs> a concept of what? You stopped. You kind of just started laughing. Once again, I did <laughs> not get it. Instead of saying it, <laughs> you kind of just started laughing. We had every word that you repeated, we had already yeah. heard. Those concept did not need to be repeated. Concept of something. Just the one word that you <laughs> did yeah. Are you familiar the with the concept of? of time. It's just I think we didn't get the of after the of. We got the of twice. That. In it's fact, we heard the of the first it's time. Something zzz because we thought inches. <laughs> what if we could just get the inches. word? <laughs> concept of. <laughs> you started. You, you started. I got a bit of it. Just clear your throat. Uh, yeah. Are you okay? You want some? Here's some water. I have a giant bucket of water. Here you go. Cages. 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 No, I'm not. Yes, well, it's what I'm currently inside of. Right, I understand that, but we opened the door, which oh. was kind of pretty easy to do. So I also, can... you're a fire-breathing dragon, which means you can just melt all this stuff. Yes. Um, well, my wife was so the kind of seems like I you... was the bride. Oh, I mean... Yeah, it kind of seems like you were scared of your relationship, seeing if it was, like, going too far, and you got captured, and it was a perfect excuse to, instead of breaking up with your wife or divorcing her, you just stayed here until she died of a hunger strike for Trees Live Matters, and then no, you're stuck just here. Not trees. I, I support um, the trees, but I really think that all plants' lives matter, and it was no, a... No, <laughs> no, you, uh, you, you can do so much more. I mean... Yeah. Granted, you can't go outside, as as many of us can't, but you can still donate and sign petitions for trees. Also, the point is, the trees are burning down right now, so we want to try to put the trees out while also take caring, yes, taking well, care of all the plants. That brings up a good point. But we just want to focus on the I, trees right now, because the trees one's in trouble right I now, may have even been though we one. care about all the plants. I may have been the one to burn down the trees. It was an accident. Okay. So it may have been an accident, but it's part of like a larger system. <laughs> yes. you know, it, it doesn't matter your individual intentions. It's it's basically comes down to dragon brutality is what we're here for. Maybe. Anyways, you could just leave. Why don't you just leave? Abolish your happen. cage. Maybe I Abolish should your cage. atone for my sins and beg for forgiveness, perhaps. I mean, I don't know what sins. Yeah, this is kind of deeper than... What sins did you commit? Yeah. Since I didn't understand the concept of a cage, like, sins and stuff is way beyond. Okay, maybe I'll just go... I'll leave now. Goodbye. This is a weird voice. It's changing. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I need more water. But you're fire-breathing. Yeah, it's... There's some the thing about fire... Theater. The thing about fire is it makes your throat really dry. I mean, I understand sense. that. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, that Flynn. Sense. Goodbye, Steve. I had you to go. Steve's not here. I'm not here. Yeah, Steve's um, not here. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Christian Bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's his name. Um, okay. Black Die. Um... Oh no, we didn't. I'm gonna oh. leave. I'm gonna leave and fly my way through the town and tell everybody I'm sorry on the way out. Is that okay with you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just tell that's, them we killed your wife. Um, yeah. I thought it was a um, good strike. <laughs> it was, but no, it tell was. Me but... We killed her. Yes, okay. Even Got if it. you have to say, like, we took away the food, uh, you can kind yeah. of fudge it a little bit. Okay. Oh, we're, we burned down the trees. Okay. And he leaves now, and um, as he leaves, you hear the boom, 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 and then you just hear in the distance the flapping of wings, and then you hear loud reverberating echoes of shouts of, I apologize for being a racist. <laughs> My wife died of a hunger strike for all three lives matter. <laughs> And I apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, goodbye. And he flies away. 
That was so hard to do that Bye, voice. Bye, dragon. Oh my god. It's weird that the dragon just said it's so hard to do that voice, even though it's his voice. And I ran out of water. Anyway, it should just be itself. Christian, I'm not really in the mood anymore. I'm kind of rock limp right now. <laughs> uh, like Play-Doh. Let's just head back upstairs and open this door. And oh, it's Steve! And then see. Oh boy. Okay. It's now Christians. Uh, just to be clear, I myself am not racist. The dragon was racist. Uh, <laughs> um, I just play a racist guy on TV. Uh, uh, Ian Ian loves trees. He loves them. I do. I thought it was a good parallel. I've got plenty of friends yeah. that are trees, so. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay, Christian, yeah. Christian Bookstore, it's your scene. Uh, I'm just going to continue from where we just were. We just saw Steve. That works. Steve! Hello! Christian Bookstore? That's me. And I'm I promise Steve. I wasn't... Yes, I promise I was not just down in that dungeon slash cage having sex with your husband Flynn Frankfurter, if that's what you were thinking. Who brought Because up? my pants are down. My wolf what? pants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are wolf pants? Oh my god. Well, they simply like fell off. I, I tripped and they fell down. And my belt unbuckled. My wolf yeah, belt. Yeah, and I just don't wear pants because I'm a rock. Yes. You two are all the, acting awfully suspiciously. So what were you doing down there? We were spelunking. 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 You know, you're a rock man. So if you say you two were spelunking, that, you know. So he was climbing up and down your frame. No, he was climbing in my frame. That okay. Would be spelunking. So he wasn't rock climbing. I would have said rock climbing if he was climbing up. On it. I feel like we've <laughs> lost the thread. <laughs> um, I don't believe you. <clears throat> That we okay, that's fine. That's perfect. You don't believe us that we were doing that. I think you two are knock are knocking boots with each other. I mean, I don't. I'm a rock person, so I don't have boots. But you have hooves. Right, right. Okay, so you're bumping on one side a rock, and then on on the other side a a paw. You're you're bumping them. But this is just a metaphor for knowing each other biblically. Uh, Are you trying to make fun bonking. of his cousin who was turned into a Bible? You're, you're bonking. I'm, Listen, I'm I get it. My name is Christian Bookstore. My cousin's a Bible. It's it's not that funny. Yeah, this really is insensitive, Steve. We compromise, Steve. We talked about this. You want to? If you think we're bonking, then you want us to compromise and bonk. That's what you want. No, no. What, That's what who, compromise means. Listen, Steve, I, I have to tell you, I did bring something with me. It's your marriage certificate. I have it right oh. here. Yeah, and you and rock Flynn. beats paper, and I punch through it. <laughs> what? Well, but now that the certificate's been broken, that means our marriage is null and void. It's true. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Yes. But... But... but but that means, under the terms of our marriage contract that now has a rock hole through it, you were supposed to be ruling both kingdoms until such time as I reached age. And, and there, there was no, in the, in the termination provision, <laughs> in section 8.4... Uh, Wait, let me put it out of the so I can find it. <laughs> this is all there. Cafe. <laughs> so Robinette that. too, uh, it says that if the if the marriage contract is broken via a rock hole delivered by a rock fist held up by a uh, wolf man in wolf form um, that is in the employ of Flynn, then the marriage is void. But all of my lands stay with with Flynn. Huzzah! That was my plan the whole time. 
I don't even I like play. wolves, and I don't turn into a centaur. What? <gasps> and you can stay here forever, you idiots. Oh. Steve, I'm sorry. I just oh. wanted to get... <laughs> I just wanted to get my own rocks off. So I now... I've lost everything, and now all I have left is revenge. <gasps> I'm still here, <laughs> even though I betrayed you. Cut. I'm gonna slowly Cut. walk away. They were never married. What are you talking about? No. Christian and Flynn came up from the basement and were discovered by Steve. Steve confronted them. Christian held up the marriage certificate. Uh, Flynn punched through it, voiding the marriage between (laughs) Flynn and Steve. But I was tricking Christian that we would get married, but I was pretending. And I'm the ruler of both lands now. Gotcha. (laughs) Grant. Gron Tom. There's G. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. Me neither. My rocks are always off. What about, what about the, wait, wait, but what about the dragon that escaped? Didn't people see that? Oh, okay. I'm so excited for this. This will be good. Dragon. Uh, Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'm Steve. Yeah.
I it's just going to turn me into a man. But I like being a toad. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 did you just kill him? Did you just go Gronton? She, she killed me like she killed your father. Oh my god. And just then, in the sky, a cloud moves out of the way, revealing the full moon shining down on the outdoor stage. All right, so later that night, after all this happened, <laughs> no, uh, all right, so just picking up, you know, where we left off, um, I assume then that we also have two uh, centaurs or minotaurs, just whatever one. you guys were. Just, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I was, I was lying about right. I turned into a centaur. Right. And but I, we've got okay. a, Ian's a wolf now, right? Yep. And Mark yep. is a centaur. Mm-hmm. All right. Then uh, Steve will say, you know what? I think this might not be part of the play anymore. I think that this is real life, and you're a wolf, and you killed my father with your fangs, your wolfen fangs, and now I will destroy you with my sword. Ah, she, she, she. What an epic battle that is occurring! Oh. Oh. Blow for blow! This is for you, father. <laughs> it's a very in depth play. We love it. I'll give you the ten out of ten. Special effects. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> oh, great! I don't even know what to do. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do a flashback of. <laughs> Flynn with his father, which I believe was Marcus. And I'm just going to be, we're together and it's, it's literally the scene before the one, the last flashback I did where we were going to meet Mm -hmm. the people. And I'm just like, okay, dad, before we start, before we start pretending because people are listening, what's, what's the initial plan again? Like we know I'm, I'm marrying this other guy and, or uh, actually, I should say I- I'm marrying this girl because we don't know that part. But yeah, Stevia, yeah, Stevia, <laughs> she's very sweet. But the plan is to to hire the wolf to kill the father, and then we're just going to take over their land. Yes, we merge the kingdoms, and then once they are merged, we will have the wolf eliminate the other half, leaving you, my son, my heir, to inherit both thrones. <laughs> I, hate, I hate when you say it like that. And uh, you said have a uh, BFA, a Battle for Azeroth um, yes. expansion. I don't know. You just carry that Battle for Azeroth expansion code around. It makes kind of weird. Powerful. Yeah, you just got to stop playing World of Warcraft. Um, <laughs> that's you know, Dad. That's an excellent plan. That plan's so excellent that probably we've just established everything I wanted to by making this scene. So, yes. Yeah, that's pretty good. How do you feel about the upcoming uh, sex? <laughs> I mean, 
mean, it's going to be rocky. To talk, son. It's going to be it's... rocky at first, but I think it'll smooth that out. It, honestly, it'll be rocky the whole time. If you're <laughs> White dog. Uh, I hope we don't have a cave in. <laughs> uh, let's just I drink and laugh to their misfortune. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> scene. Link. Uh, okay, final scene. Uh, Christian bookstore, and then after this, we have a short little epilogue where you get to describe what happened to your character in the end. Um, okay, final scene. The only thing is that it does have to end badly for you because we only have a black die left. Okay. Um, we'll go back to the tavern, and it's uh, me and Steve sitting there uh, talking to the bartender about how this just didn't work out for us. <sighs> Here's your two pisses. Thank you. I'll take another pinto beans, please. Oh, right. <laughs> Extra pintos. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, Steve. We kind of both were were taken down by Flynn, and... I mean, you, you, you avenged your father's death, and yet I feel like... I don't know. I, I don't feel... I don't feel satisfied. Me neither. I haven't felt satisfied in so long. Especially with that rock thing as a husband. Now that I've gotten my revenge, I just feel kind of empty. And feel like I need to be filled up. Oh, very interesting, you know. Maybe it's the piss talking, but I've, <laughs> I've been alone for quite a while. And you know, I we still have those rooms at the inn. I mean, there's an empty one now. Two yeah. bowls of pintos. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pilgrim. So what are you trying to say? I mean, I'm still in centaur form, and half of me is human. Which half? <laughs> Can't you tell from looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It's a, it's a good, good point. The left uh, half. Right. <laughs> 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 you know, it's it's really doing it for me. Yeah. Well. So we go back to our room and well, go to sleep. Well, I'm going to say, maybe you guys are like walking up the stairs to go to your room. And you look outside and the sun's starting to rise and the moon is going away. <sighs> the moon. Um... I'm losing both of my halves, and they're merging back into wolf. <laughs> you know what? This does it for me even more than the other thing. Oh, fun! Let's get in there. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> See. Yeah. All right. So uh, now we're going to do the aftermath. So the way this works is that I'm going to tally up each of your dice. And then um, those are basically going to determine. It's going to give you like a short one to two sentence description of where your character ended up. And then you can describe a scene, kind of like think a short little like epilogue segment with your character of where they went. You know, like, hey, they, they ended up finding somebody. They got married. They became filthy rich and they died happy. Um, okay. So I'm going to roll my die first. So I add up the black and I add up the white. So I have black, black eight, white one. I subtract the difference. That's a black seven. So black seven, pathetic. You'll suffer. Oh dear God, will you suffer? And everyone will know of your malfeasance, your stupidity, your lack of common sense and decency. You're probably going to be locked up too. So I, I think that somehow I survived that attack. <laughs> Maybe like being in werewolf form, I was actually stronger than I thought. But you saw my my, my incredible moves. I did. <laughs> Maybe you got locked up in the dragon cage. That's what I was thinking. Is the town the town took my body, locked me up in the dragon cage, didn't realize I was still alive, and so when I woke up, I'm just I'm stuck in the dragon cage, and I'm there, and they come tell the tale of the magnificent, the incredible Steve, and when he slew the werewolf and the dragon and i'm the werewolf that they put on display 
that's that's how a little ends up. All right, nice. St- Steve's Pretty turn. Good. Let's roll these dice. That is a white five, black eight, which is going to be a black three. Harsh. Crap in a bag harsh, a lifetime of medication harsh, a big cloud of hurt is going to rain all over you. The things you need to happen are not going to. Simple as that. So pretty bad ending. All right. Yeah. So anyway, you're seeing all these uh, great things happen to Steve, as Ian has uh, described. And like he kind of just settles down in the town because he figures, you know, he's not getting adulation anywhere else. And maybe... Christian bookstore is there by his side. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it up to Christian. Um, but I think uh, even though he's getting this adulation and he still has all of his dragon gold, um, he just realizes that nothing will ever be enough and he'll never feel satisfied and he'll always feel it like he deserves or just wants more. Uh, so he just like over time comes to realize that like no matter what happens he'll never be happy so you're seeing all these great things happen but he just looks really bummed out (laughs) okay flynn frankfurter that's me let's do your dice you have a white 15 and a black 2 which gets you a white 13 white 13 plus fan fantastic! it's fat times ahead safe and secure that thing that would make your life better oh you got it absolutely <clears throat> and then some and then some more enjoy it uh i'm just gonna be me it's kind of <clears throat> zoom out from me sitting on the throne and it's like lords bowing in front of me and it zooms out more and my armies are going out and it zooms out more and it's just like a red menace going across a map. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I just like conquered the known world. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, f- and I'm the rock king. You're, you're rocking. I'm the rock king. Got it. Mm. Okay. Uh, Christian bookstore. Like a rock. Baby, 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 like a rock. Okay, we got a black eight, a white six, which is a black two. Brutal wounds that will never heal for starters. Stuff sawed off, blown off, or burned off on your way to grand ignominious failure. Kiss whatever you care about goodbye. You may die, but you may not. Okay, so how does that? How does that leave Christian Bookstore? Yeah. So in my last transformation i stared directly into the sun and burned my eyes out so i became blind and then i just kind of like wandered around town as like a blind werewolf for a while um and i could never heal my broken heart uh which was hurt from flynn frankfurter uh lying to me about transforming into a centaur and so eventually i there's some speculation if it was on purpose or not, but I wandered off a cliff and plummeted. Wow. Because wow. I was blind, so, you know, they're not sure. But Wow. Yeah. Folks, that is... Yeah. It was either the cliff or a hunger strike. Yeah. <laughs> that is fiasco of the Dragon Slayers. I think that went pretty well. I think we told a real good story. How are you guys feeling? That was that really fun. good. That was good. And I feel like this is the first time that we really like addressed every single one of the things yes that we need to yeah it was it was so weird because so that's good. i didn't i didn't expect the difference between three people and four people I don't, I don't know that it was necessarily having a fourth but it felt like we told a much wider story like we had multiple plot lines going yeah. that was that was yeah. good yeah that one felt real good that's that's a that's a good play set um so we will be doing this again in the future um hopefully we can get the same crew together we we do it every three four weeks there's no guarantee but we will definitely let you guys know if we do it again um we are subpixel you can find us at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube channel we've got plenty of edited videos as well as live stream archives you can also follow us on twitch mixer facebook instagram and twitter at subpixel team i highly recommend following us on twitter that way you can get notified when we have uh new streams coming up just like this one that's that's where you're going to find out first when the next fiasco stream is probably in a couple weeks 
Um, and if you if you made it this far, please give us a like, comment, subscribe, follow, any way you can interact with this video. Um, it helps us uh, get our stuff in front of more people, and it also tells us that you enjoyed this, and so we should make more stuff like it. Zach, I know I promised it to you, so uh, let me give you that close-up on the haircut. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I no. like how you're moving the camera instead of your head. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You see that line? Oh, you gotta turn off the Skype blur. It's kind of, it's still working though. You see, so it's just oh, no, it's working now. Oh, this is the first time I've seen the back of my head. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's pretty bad. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, wait. Oh no. Oh, it's harder to see oh, on that oh, side. Boy. Yeah, anyways, that's uh, <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Uh, Folks, thank you guys so much for joining day. us. Uh, Jimmy, where can people find you? Uh, at Jami Jones on Twitter. <laughs> uh, I have 24 followers, so hey, you know, join, the movement. join the movement. Um, you can also just find me on Twitter uh, insulting anything that Ian posts Pretty or much. responding with, with a Gimli Son of Gloin gif. Uh, so, <gasps> Kim Lee, son of I'm surprised that's the first time you've brought up. Um, we've been talking for two and a half hours now, and that's the first time you brought up Lord of the Rings, Jimmy. That's very surprising. I'm really getting a lot better. I feel a like I my getting, therapist is very proud of me. I keep getting this glimpse of Jimmy that likes Lord of the Rings, and I'm very excited by that. Oh, boy. That's a map of Middle Earth right there. He's I got obsessed. I got a blueprint of Bilbo's uh, of uh, Bag End on my door. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Will, <Come at> me. <laughs> where can people find you? What? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. That's H-U-N-T-270. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at Motion Graphics Guy, I think is it. And uh, you can also find me on OnlyFans at Sexy Sexy Wolf Boy. And then, uh, you weren't um, even a wolf. <laughs> I, I'm a wolf. Oh, you're more of like a. Have you seen my chest? You're kind of like a. Or cub. more of a bear. But... No, you're a cub. Yeah. You're not. You're not quite a bear. You're a cub. <laughs> I don't have enough leather to be a bear. <laughs> oh boy, uh, Marcus, where can people find you? Um, on Twitter at Marcus Barahal, B A R A H A L. Also on Instagram at socially distant improv every Thursday at 9, which I think is the same time as your guys' stream, but our thing will be up for 24 hours after that, so watch it after. Oh, it's all good. If, if, you, if, if you find our streams boring, go check out the Socially Distant Improv <laughs> stream. That sounds like fun. Um, and you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Folks, I think we had a real good time here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining. I know it's, it's Saturday. You've got places to be, things to do. You want to be hitting the town. Can't go anywhere. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> But it's a it's a grand old time. Uh, and Marcus, thanks for joining for the first time. I you know let's close on that. Marcus, what are your having me. what are your impressions of, of Fiasco? Did you did you enjoy this session? Did you enjoy the game? I liked it a lot. Yeah, um, I had never played it before. I played uh, Dungeons and Dragons once, like right before quarantine, and so I think I liked this better because it was just a lot more. I don't know. I liked having like a slight structure and that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, very fun. Uh, yeah, when uh, when Will told me that, that you've done improv, I was like, oh, he's going to love this game because it's it's 99% yeah. improv. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you. We may be doing a stream tomorrow. Keep an eye on our Twitter account. We'll let you know. Uh, if we do, it'll be at noon Eastern, but that's up in the air. Uh, but even if not, we're definitely going to be doing a stream on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, and we always have plenty of content on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye, everyone.